For the council, I'm Anna Dolosky. Just because you have to go gluten-free doesn't mean you have to go without love either. A new website is making it possible for those who share gluten-free values to mingle without judgment. MyGlutenFreeDating.com has it all. It's designed to reduce social pressure that people face if they don't want to be exposed to gluten in their relationship. This just may put Match.com out of business. Gluten sensitivity affects only 1% of Americans who have celiac disease, and the other 20% of Americans who have jumped on the bandwagon shouldn't be on the bandwagon. It doesn't make sense. A new study shows 75% of people who claim to be gluten sensitive have no actual physical reaction to gluten. So how will the website know if the struggle is real or fake? Well, I guess you get what you pay for. The ongoing debate about whether an antibacterial ingredient triclosan should be in soaps has been settled. It shouldn't be in there. Yet no doubt antibacterial hand soaps have taken over the supermarket shelves, and why not? Bacteria are bad for you, so killing them seems to be the logical answer. Well, here's why it's not. A, it doesn't work, and B, the risk to benefit ratio shows benefits of using antibacterial soap are zero, but the risk may be there. A new study showed antibacterial soap containing triclosan was no more effective than plain soap at reducing bacterial contamination. The other issue is whether killing bacteria on your hands actually matters. When we think of infections that people commonly catch, like the stomach flu, influenza, or bronchitis, they have one thing in common. They are viral infections, not bacterial. So triclosan actually doesn't make a difference at all. Finally, if you caught last night's GOP debate, you'd know that all of the candidates flunked at basic science which normally wouldn't be a big deal since presidential candidates aren't typically scientists, except when you have two doctors on the podium. Then it really matters. When asked about vaccines and autism in front of 20 million viewers, presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson said this, let me put it this way, there have been numerous studies and they have not demonstrated that there is any correlation between vaccinations and autism. Sure, that's correct, but could he be any more wishy-washy? How about no, vaccines don't cause autism? Sure, Dr. Carson didn't say anything wrong technically, but it's what he didn't say. I mean, he had the podium to clarify the facts as a doctor and he didn't. The same can be said for Dr. Rand Paul, who said this, I'm all for vaccines, but I'm also for freedom. Donald Trump, who really has no scientific background, still managed to have a response. He said, autism has become an epidemic 25 years ago, 35 years ago. You look at the statistics, not even close. It has gotten totally out of control. The council has graded all three responses, and here are the results. F, F, F. To see more stories like this, like us on Facebook or visit our website, acsh.org. Don't forget while you're there, you can also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered straight to your inbox.